hand side, we see that we have the deposit deposits from QuickBooks payments. And we have down here, we have our information and there's our sales receipt uh, that was deposited. So that looks good. And so it's grouping our deposits. Let's go, and then the net amount uh, $4.58. Let's take a look at it on the checking account here. So if I go actually into the checking account, drill down on the checking and take a look at it, we then have our uh, deposit that pulled through here for the 557. And this is the one that came from the automatic payment, I believe. So if I drill down on that 117, the 117, hold on, that's the actual fee. That's the fee that went through. Let's go into the deposit then, the 557. So here's our deposit and it checked all of these off, including the sales receipt. Okay, so it picked that one up and it deposited them together. So you can see it did that kind of middle step uh, depositing all these items, some of them being payments that went from the invoice that was received and then the sales receipt, which was, so it picked up both of these. If I go to the flow chart, it picked up uh, the sales receipt that we made as well as the invoices that we received payments on. We didn't record the received payment, right? It kind of did, it kind of did the whole process for us and then grouped them together in the one deposit. And of course we're hoping, and it should be the case, that this is the amount that will be shown on the uh, the bank statement so that we'll be able to do the reconciliation. So if we can get all this set up, if we get these automatic payments set up, then it can be quite nice from the bookkeeping side of things because uh, we, we can kind of eliminate these last two steps. Although again, the downside is the fees. We can make the invoice, we can create the sales receipts. Hopefully we can automate one or both of those things, whichever one we're going to set up and then we can just let the payments roll and not have to deal with the receive payment or make deposit side of things. And it should be deposited in our system in such a way that we can then match it out to the bank statements in the form of the bank feeds. So then we would go into the bank feeds and we would see this amount uh, coming through on the banking side of things and be able to match that out.